and your bills are all due. Mm -hmm. We just turned church on top of it. Yeah. And right. your work has slowed down, and your family is sick, and yes. people on, love are <laughs> falling by the wayside, and, and your body is sick, and you're saying, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Raise up your hands. Yeah. Come on. Everybody yes. remember Sister Peggy or Tammy. Yes. One of the most anointed oh, women yes. of God that we've ever yes. had to come on through the moon. I'd love to be closer to her. Yeah. I'd have caught her shoe when she broke it. <laughs> Amen. I would. Everybody remembers that song, but God uh -huh. on the mountain. Yes. Still God. Come on. Still God in the mountain. Because it can't never change. When things go wrong. When things go wrong. You'll make it all right. Uh, What's it take, oh, Richard? What's it take? What's it take? Uh, yeah, it's it. Do you realize that's oh. all he wants from you? Yeah. To believe in us. You've been through the ringer for months now. But yet we want you to come in. You come to church. You worship the Lord. You get up here and shout with us every once in a while. But most of all, you're just content with just worshiping the Lord. You know why? Because I thank God, sis, that you've got that down plan. Yeah. That whether or not you're up here or whether you're down here, He has never changed. Uh -uh. Even no matter where it is, no matter where you go, no matter where you're at, He don't change. Uh -uh. People change. The dirt God don't never change. Let me tell you where He's been God with me at. Right. He's been God with me one time up in Joe, West Virginia. Standing right there on that hardwood, and I had all the loads up. He was God with me then. Yeah. Right, come on, somebody. Yeah. You know where he was God with me at? He was God with me down at the tabernacle oh, one Lord. day. I piled 32 yeah. serpents up on that Bible stand and got every single one of them laid out. He was God with me. He was. Guess what? He was God with me when I was back yeah. But come on. Oh, what they say that, okay? We preach about a God that don't fail, a God that don't forsake. Yeah. But yeah. hey, wait a minute. He's trying to know son of a man. You know, he's trying to know. When I was getting drunk, brother when I was drinking liquor, like I was drinking water, he was still going He was still going Because he says, I will never leave thee. I'll never forsake you. But no, I'll go with thee all the way out. Come on. Believe what you want to. Wait for me. I get drunk around all of you. Believe what you want to. Believe about nothing. Believe a falsehood. Believe a falsehood that he forsakes you all you want to. But I'm talking because a man who knows from experience. Amen. Brother Kevin, I get drunk with a dog. I would. I'd be limp. Amen. And I get to fumble through CDs. Yeah, and story. Hey man, I love George Jones. Hey man, I love old George Jones. And the drunker I got, the more I sound like George. And come on, hey man. I need I need the fun but then all of a sudden I come across one that wasn't that. Yeah. You hear Bob Gibson? I just come. start following and I'd start any feeling see there's your feelings again everybody knows my past story of the Lord everybody knows all the things in my past so there I was shacked up living in adultery all these things that they tell you that God will hate you for. There I was shacked up, living in adultery, living in fornication. I was a liar. So I cuss you so to look at you. Amen. Thank God. I ended up spending the five months in jail because my gun was louder and of an ignorant move. Ignorance was what it was. Cowardice. I was a coward effie. That's what I was. So there I was, but yet that same anointing that was with me in Joel o, West Virginia, that same anointing that was with me in Middlesbrough, that same anointing that was with me in Tennessee and in London and up in Johnson and all of these other places here and there and yonder, that same anointing would stir and say, hey, though you've walked away, you will not get away from me because I'm not going Because once you've truly been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, it is not as easy. Many are called. 
few are chosen. Won't you stand in with the chosen crew? Won't you stand in with the chosen crew? Go around wherever you want to. Run as far as you can. Run as fast as you can. But somewhere along the way, you'll hear somebody, I don't care what denomination, but you'll hear somebody begin to preach. That's right. There's people out there loving you. I, I love when, when, when Sister Eden comes because she was one of those church kids. She was royalty by Kenny Saylor. That goes to Kenny's head, though. So we don't say too much. Royalty. Holiness royalty. Still to this day, you hear that little Baptist preacher begin to preach. You feel the tension. Says, Granny, whenever you've ever run from the Lord, I don't care if he was a Baptist preacher or if he was home, or sometimes they might turn on the radio and he pop over and you hear maybe one of these songs that says, Let me tell you about my Jesus. Yeah. Yes. I feel like saying I'm open to this. I don't know why, because you're part of the chosen. Right. Yep. Huh? Oh, Brother Derek. Oh, Brother Derek Abrams. Whenever you. Out in the world, yeah. look over at this. We all start turning. Kev, you ever been there? Yeah. When Tina came to you and you just snorted a line in the bathroom. Yeah. Holy Ghost came and spoke to you. Why? Why? Well, I'm telling you what I tell you. It's because that whenever you ain't justified by this carnal nature thing, but you're justified by faith and faith alone, you'll find yourself in peace. Yeah, just as you never see. You're going to have to go through tribulation. Yeah. I'd love to be able to preach to our peoples. And Kevin, I'd love for you and Derek and Noah and Kenny and uh, Jeremiah and Hazel and, and Taylor and all of our preachers and ministers. I'd love for every single one of our men and women of God to be able to preach that it's a bed of roses. Once you come to Christ, young people, you don't ever have to go through anything again. These two here, they pray we're in the homecoming. Come baptized in water. And they seek and they pray. And they want that power. Got pregnant. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Tell you what my first telltale sign, Kenny, was they got a hold of more than a shack. They're in the house of God today. That's right. There is me. Kevin, can I tell you, can I speak something to you? It's not being in vain, Kevin. There is people that's listening. There is a generation. All those people from the ranch church, those young people, Kenny's church. There is a generation alley of people. Look around. They may not be what we was always around. Brother Dark, but they're hearing this. It's not in vain. Kenny, it's not in vain. There is a generation that's rising up and says, I will shout with you. Yeah. They're saying, I'll kick and flock with you. There's a generation, Kenny, that's going to get anointed. They're going to get these torches and there won't be no blisters. There won't be no smell of fire. There's going to be a generation, Kenny, that people will come in and they'll have different diseases and they'll say in the name of Jesus. And healing. There is a generation. There's a generation that will take them. There's a generation coming. But that's not what they're established on. There's a generation coming up that's established on this. Come on. And on Christ. Amen. You've got to go through things to learn patience. Amen. To learn faith. You want me to tell you what faith is? This is not faith. I'm walking by sight. I see that step. I'm in the step down there. I see this step. You know what faith is? All right, Lord. For my life. But what do I have to wait for? Danger. What'd you say? Danger. But see, it's still up to me. Because I can open my eyes and say, oh, I don't know how to get through this. But in my fault, I hit the ground. Look who never let go of my hand. He was there before I was. He caught me. 
What does patience teach? Patience teaches experience. Because I get to look at you all and say January of last year, me and Taylor went through a miscarriage too. We know what you're talking about. We're here for a reason. I can look at you and say, Kitty, as a pastor, I know what you're going through. I get to look at you and I say, I was never on dope, but I've been to jail. I know what you're going through. I can hit you. I can look at you, Brother Derek, and say, I've been there. I don't understand, Brother Harry, some of these church people that have supposedly been saved their whole life. How do they how are they able to help? Because they sit up here. Yeah. They sit up here and they look down on everyone. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. And then we've been there. And so guess what? You get to turn around and look at these other young girls and say, you get to turn and look at these young girls. You just get to look at these young girls that we've been there. Whenever their heart breaks because of a man, y'all get to say, hey, we've been there. Those of us that's been through divorces, we get to look at people and say, hey, we've been there. We've been there. One of the biggest lies gets told is usually in a few. Somebody's mother dies and somebody walks up and says, I know what you're going through. And their mom is sitting at the house. When your mother died, I heard that lie more times than once right here to head in her past. You stand there. People walk up to Brother Robert and say, I call him Bob. And they say, Robert, you know what you're doing. It's just words. And then they went out and they if you've never been there and you've never walked that road, you don't know. No. You don't know how hard it was, kid, for things I've been through that I still come out here Sunday after Sunday and square my shoulders right. and say, God, tell me to preach. Only because of God. I thank God for this man on the piano, and I've told this story to him many times. When me and Tyler prayed, prayed over a red bird, we come back to the Lord. I said, okay, I'm going to go and play guitar. We go down to Middlesbrough some. I take them up down to Middlesbrough. And we go over here and there and I play my guitar. Ding, 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 ding. Then we go places alley. Man, this would roll over in me and I'd open my mouth. And I'd say, but I'm just testifying. I'm just talking. I, somebody else preached. Somebody else would preach. We went to some different places and then the Lord put us in deliverance. Kitty Sutter kind of, he, he, few comments have been made along the way about home. Oh, oh, we can't even preach to you, man. I just love it. Just love it we went to Charlie Craig's daddy's funeral. And so we rocked Mount Pleasant Funeral on the third day. I'm telling you what Bill desire and Wanda and Lord have mercy, we had church and, and I got tore loose, Kevin. I start, I said in the I did like I tore all the pieces at that funeral. And we was on our way home and I've got a hat that when we go places and I say anything, I look at Taylor and I say, How did I do? Because she's my biggest critic. And believe you me, she grinds my brakes more times than once. If I've ever babbled to she's not here today, so I get to babble on and on and on and on. But she looked at me and she said, How did you do what? And she was driving. And I said, how did I do talking? She slammed the brakes on me. That black man all day was what we did. She slammed the brakes on and jerked that car off to the side of the road. It scared me dead times. I thought she'd gone crazy. I didn't want to put me over the cliff or nothing. And she looked me dead in the face, tears coming out of her eyes. She said, until you accept that God had called you to pray, and until you step back into that, we will never prosper. Right. You will not prosper. Right. You will not prosper not doing what God told you to do. Right. If God told you to preach, you better preach because if you don't, you will live miserable. If God's called you to prophesy, God calls you to lay it into whatever the call of the gifts and the callings of God are without you. He does not take your calling away. He does not take your gift. Your circumstances may change, but God does not change. 
Wasn't long after that, we had cancer. It was during the week. I heard my phone run. He said, Can you sign her eyes? And he said, Oh, oh, oh. And I'm sorry he fixed his glasses. He said, Oh, you're preaching Tuesday night. Uh, so I just thought I'd let you know, man. Um, love you, bro. Click. And he hung up. I had enough time to say hello and do what? And click. That's all I got. I thought I was going to go to church. I ain't going. I did. I thought I wasn't going to Tuesday. Tuesday night. It was December. It was December 2015. I said, no, I'm, not, I'm not going to church that night. And then I said, I'm going to go because I don't want nobody hurt at us or nothing like that. But I'm not preaching. Because I knew if I could just manipulate that meat and good enough with that guitar and get everybody to dance in the room, we wouldn't have to. Can you like shut me <laughs> And the next thing I know, I felt in my element. I could feel the anointing of God. And I stood up with that Bible and I laid it on that little, it was the little Bible, and the Romans chapter 8, my favorite scripture. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of Christ. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent in his own son and the likeness of sinful flesh. It changed my life. But I thank God for a porter that opened the door for me. And I am no longer justified, Brother West, by all these carnal emotions. I'm no longer justified, Annie, by all this carnality junk. I'm now justified by faith. I've gloried in my tribulation. My tribulations have taught me patience. My patience has taught me experience. And my experience has brought me hope. And my hope is in Jesus. As they get ready to sing this song, whatever it may be, Everybody stand all over the